Hey babes, it's Kayla Craft with the Mommy Millionaire Podcast. I'm a mom of three littles, ER nurse turned self-made millionaire and lifestyle entrepreneur. I am bringing you inspiring stories, business and mindset tips to help you be shameless in pursuing your ambitions. We're going to be talking about sales and character today, but first I want to remind you that there's only a couple days left to join the Millionaire Society as a founding member. That means you can be a part of my membership program for only $37 a month. You guys, I'm doing bi-weekly coaching in there, plus giving you exclusive content, teaching you guys how to sell more increase your confidence and grow your network in there. So if you guys are in network marketing, this membership is a no brainer for you. Also, if you're in any industry such as real estate, insurance sales, hairstyling, that whole shebang, you want to be in this group. Okay. It's going to be so awesome. So head over to mommymillionaire.co to check it out, or you can just go to my Instagram and click on the link in the bio. So I'm excited to talk about selling today. And the reason why is because I believe that if you can sell, you will be rich one day. I truly believe that. And it's not about pitching. It's about becoming the person that people want to buy from. And I believe that your sales character is the most important thing. And we're going to be working on so much of this in the Millionaire S Society. But there there are three questions I want you guys to ask yourself right now, okay? First one, can people trust me to do my best? So when I was first building my business and building my brand new brand, people weren't quite sure because all they had seen was that I was just a health and wellness coach. And people hadn't seen me in this business coaching light in the online marketing space. And so it had a little bit of a rocky start because I think people were like, wait, what is she doing? They didn't know if they could trust me yet because I had just made a pivot. And some of you guys might be in that same spot right now where you might be making a pivot and people don't know if they can trust you. Or maybe you've been in your industry for a long time, but maybe you haven't had great follow through. I don't know, but I want you to be so freaking real when you answer this question. Do not be in denial. Can people trust you to do your best? And if the answer is yes, then good. Move on to the second question. And if, But if the answer is no, then I want you to do some real self-reflection and figure out why. Why? Did you maybe exaggerate in the past? I know that I totally was doing this in network marketing in the beginning. I would exaggerate about um, maybe, I don't even remember, honestly, because it was eight years ago. But I remember being like very hypey about it. And when you're too hypey about something, people don't trust you. And so when I asked myself this question, you know, six years ago, when I was at a plateau in my business, I said, no. And I was like, all right, we got to fix that. So how do I become more trustworthy? Life is all about asking yourself better questions. Okay. And if you want to increase your sales character, these are the questions you want to ask. The second question I want you to think about is, am I committed to the task at hand? So the task may be that you committed this month to, let's say, bringing in 10 new customers, okay? How committed are you to that vision? Or are you just interested? Because I truly believe when you're talking to people and you're selling them on your idea or you're selling them on your product, own that, right, first of all, but how committed are you? Are you going to take no for an answer? Or are you only willing to accept a yes? Or if you talk to a hundred people and all 100 say no, are you just going to quit and give up and forget about your commitment of enrolling 10 people that month? Or are you going to keep talking to more people? Are you going to go back to the drawing board and, you know, 
network differently, change the way you're getting on phone calls. What is it? How committed are you on a scale of one to 10? What would you rate yourself? One is being like, you don't care. And 10 is you would die for it. Okay. If you're selling something, your commitment level needs to be at a 10. You would die for it. That's how bad you have to want it. I remember when I was building my business. I mean, even right now, you guys, I want, I am so committed. Like, like it's the air I breathe. I need to follow through on what I'm doing. I need to make sure everybody has a good experience with what I'm putting out there. Like I am committed 10 out of 10 to that. And sometimes because I'm so committed, I even lose money on things (laughs) because I'm so committed to it. The third question I want you to ask yourself is, do I care about other people and show it? And this, some of you guys might go, oh yeah, I do. Okay. Mm, how? How do you show people you care for them? How are you showing up in their life? Okay. And I think this is where you got to get really real with yourself too, because are you just talking to somebody to make a sell? Or do you truly care about the people in your life? Are you just talking to people to, you know, you know how we have that task of talking to nine people a day. And if you haven't listened to that episode, go back into my previous episodes. And I talk about uh, the daily touch and it's called the 360 action plan. And I teach you about how many people you want to talk to every day. And you guys, you can see sometimes you, people can just become check marks, right? And you're just like, oh, check that off the box. And you're not really passionate about them. You don't really care about them. If you're making people feel like that and you're just going through the motions of your business, you're going to have trouble. And I don't want trouble for you guys. I want success for you guys. So even though you have a big goal this month, I want you to remember to never compromise your character because of your competition. And what I mean by that is there's going to be somebody that does 20 people. There's going to be somebody that does 50 people this month. There's going to be somebody that makes a million dollars this month alone. And you might be making 10,000. That million dollars earner, that person should just be an inspiration to you. Okay. And it should give you fuel to become a better salesperson, to become better at your craft, to make your product better to make your company better, to make your brand better, you know? So it's just fuel for that. But don't ever go after your goal or go after the sales and compromise who you are in order to do it, okay? Because this is what I know now, being in this life for, what, 31 years now, is I know that when you're just trying to sell somebody and they feel that icky feeling from you, it's really, they, they leave your network. They no longer trust you. And it's really hard to get people to come back into your network. That's why I like to say it's easier to give birth than to raise the dead. Because once somebody has gotten a bad taste in their mouth about you, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to win them back. And I'm not saying everybody's gotten a good taste in their mouth for me because heck, I have failed so many times, right? And what I know is it's easier to keep winning new customers than to go back and try to get ones that have been upset with me, honestly. And so I want you to know that first, that your impressions right now with people, even before they become your customers, are so, so important. So I want you to go into the conversation with people having a good sales character of how can I help this person? So every conversation you're going into, you're asking, how can I help you? If you're going to a networking event and you're walking up to somebody and you've of course done research on them because that's what we teach is always go prepared. If you're going and meeting with a new prospect, Google them ahead of time, know what they're about, know what their last post on social media was. If you're having a guest on your podcast, know everything about them. So that way you can have a really great conversation then ask them the question. So how can I help you? Is there anything going on in your life right now where maybe I can add value to you? And you will be so surprised at how that relationship will blossom. And maybe that person never becomes your customer, but maybe they become your best referral ever. I cannot tell you like us being in Newport for a year now, I went into creating uh, friends in this area 
with that mentality. It's like, if I just help enough people, I'll eventually find my friends and my people here and I'll eventually find some customers as well. And I just know that when I'm helping people, I'm at a very high vibration. Like how many of you guys right now, you know, just tap, tap your finger on your head and say, I love to help people. I love to be in service of people and do that and say that out loud. And what that does is it anchors it into you. And how many of you guys love that feeling? Like I am obsessed with it. So I know if I spend my days helping people that that is good energy that I'm putting out there, that things will come back around eventually, maybe not directly from that person, but just because I'm putting good energy out there, I get good energy back in my life. I cannot stress this enough. This is the stuff I wish people would have told me in the beginning. I wish I would have known this concept because it's working It's working whether you know it's working or not, right? Whether you're aware of this concept or not, it's working in your favor or it's working against you. And so I want you guys to know this kind of stuff, right? So going into a sales conversation, maybe you're selling uh, insurance, for instance, and you know, you have to go into it. How can I help you? What are you worried about right now? Asking those types of questions will honestly change your entire business. What are you worried about right now? How can I help you? But not just like, you know, somebody's walking up to a cashier and you're at Taco Bell saying, hello, welcome to Taco Bell. How can I help you? No, like, come on. No. Okay. That is not what we're wanting to do here. We are truly adding value to people. So what I like to do personally is after I meet people, I like to take notes on them. And most of the time, what I've been doing is now that I'm adding them as a contact into my phone, as soon as I meet them in person, and then I actually have them take a photo of themselves right then and there when I, when I add them into my phone, that way, I, you know, it's good to connect a face with a name always. And then I go in and I take notes. There's a notes section on the you know, under the contact information. And I'll write down exactly what they said they needed help with. And then at the end of the day, I go and reflect and say, okay, how can I help this person? Who do I know that can help this person get what they want? And what I know about networking is this, is that when you meet a super powerful person that has an amazing network and you're able to add value to them, your network is now their network. That's how powerful it is. So when you go in with the right agenda, not going in to sell somebody, but to add value, your whole entire life will change. And I'm going to give you an example. I, when I first moved to Newport, I went to this Pilates studio and it's called Ekam and I loved it. It was just so cute. And I was like, whoever is running this place, I need to know them. And it just so happened that the next day I went to a boxing studio and it was the best place ever. And I was like, I need to find out who owns these, these places. So I followed both of them on Instagram and I did some research and I found out that they were owned by actually the same person. And I was like, okay, I need to know this person. So now I went into research mode about the owner. Her name is Vanessa and we're good friends now. And I'm telling you this story because I did research on her and then I went and took her class specifically so that way I could meet with her. And I was going in with the thing of just, I want to help her because I know these businesses are brand new. And so after the class, I walked up to her and I said, Hey, Vanessa, I've been following you on Instagram. I'm new to the area and I have been running a business online for the last eight years. And I would love to chat with you and see if I could help you because I know you're just starting out these businesses and I would love to help you in any way I can. And that's all that I said. I just said, you know, I know you're, I looked over your social media and I would love to give you some pointers on how you can grow it. And so I went in just with the value add. And so we went to coffee a couple weeks later and she ended up now she's also a client of mine, but she's also referred me to so many people that have become my friends and clients here in Orange County. And you guys, I'm telling you that whole thing because we're friends. And so now her network, she's opened up her network to me. She's a very powerful person here in the area. And I went in with literally no agenda, but I just liked her. And I was like, I love her vibe. I want to help her and whatever I can. I had no idea that she would become a client of mine. Like, at all. Like that was not on the radar when I went up and had that conversation with her. I just wanted to help her. And 
because I have that heart of service, I know that's why everything came back tenfold. And I think a lot of you guys, you want to embrace that heart of service and realize that when you're putting out good vibes, when you're putting out good energy, you're giving good advice, it comes back to you in some way, shape, or form because you're at a high vibrational level. We talk about that all the time, but I really want you to just put that in your back pocket and start using it all the time. How can I help you? What are you going through right now? What are you struggling with right now? What are you worried about? Because I would love to help you. (laughs) And Jim Rohn says, if you help enough people get what they want, you will always get what you want. When I became a millionaire at age 26, that's the exact quote I posted while I was holding all three of my kids in my hands because I was so proud of that moment because I knew I had helped tens of thousands of people at that point get what they want. Maybe it was just an extra $500 a month, or maybe it was even $54 a week, but I was helping people help themselves. And so I eventually, three years later, got what I wanted. And I didn't know how God was going to do it. I didn't know how I was going to meet the people I needed to meet in my network to make it happen. I just trusted the process and knew help, help, help was the name of the game. And when you're in a sales you know, business, which all of you guys listening in are, because you're selling yourself, you're selling your product, or you're selling somebody else's product, right? And it could be just a digital product. I don't care, but you're in the sales game. And so you have to go in with the heart of service and say, how can I help more, more people? And be honest with yourself. You know, are you really having that heart of service? So this is one thing I want to leave you guys with today. Positive energy is a chain reaction. And that's what I'm so excited about in the Millionaire S Society, because we're going to be giving you guys rewards for putting out positive energy in this world. And this is, these are just probably, I'm going to give you six tips, okay, that you can take away with positive energy. And these are things I actually want you, if you're not driving or working out right now, I actually want you to write these down because if you can live by these, your sales will increase. I can promise you that. Okay. And I don't like to overpromise too many things, but following this stuff, it works. One, never lose your capacity for enthusiasm constantly be enthusiastic about what you have going on and how you're going to help people. Number two, don't judge people. Don't stereotype them or put them in a box. Because I know for me, I, I, I kind of did that in the beginning. But what I would say would be the best thing for you is always assume somebody is good until they put themselves in the gray area. And the gray area to me means bad. (laughs) You're either good or you're bad. So, but right away, be optimistic about it. Don't judge people just from the outside looking, looking in. Okay. Really get to know somebody, get to know how you can help them and see if you get good vibes from them. Next one. This is a good one too. When you're in sales, never be impressed by somebody's wealth or by their poverty. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're building your network, you're out there networking, and you think this person is so rich because they drive a Ferrari. So they must have a really awesome network. Come to find out that person is broke as a joke and is using somebody else's credit card to pay for that loan every single month. But then you may have someone that is poorer than poor, that just you know, doesn't know how to manage their money, but they might have the most amazing network out there. Okay. And you might be able to be the person that could help them in the pinch that they are in that could drastically, drastically change their life forever. Okay. So never judge somebody by where they are at and don't be too impressed by people that you think are so, so rich. And the next one is this. If you can't be generous with the little that you have now, you won't be generous when it's easy. And what I mean by that is, you know, if you have a small network right now and you're holding on to them so tight and you're not giving referrals out to anybody and you're not sharing about people on social media, you probably haven't even shared about this podcast because you don't want people to listen to it and learn something because you don't want them to grow bigger than you. You know, if you're that person, 
I can guarantee you that you're probably not generous with your money. And if you're not generous with the $10 out of $100 that you have right now, trust me, trust me on this. When you're making $5 million a year, you're not going to give out $500,000 away. Okay. And life is all about being generous. The more generous you are with your tips, with your advice, with your help, with your money, the more you're at a high vibrational state. And again, that's the, the chain reaction that happens when you're giving out positive energy. Okay. So learn to give now with the little that you have. If you're learning from this podcast, go out and tell somebody what you just learned right now. It might change their life. It might help them. This one hits home for me so hard. And I have it written down. I said, when you become confident, also remember to be humble. You aren't all that in a bag of chips. And I put that because for me, I, I, I like to think of myself, I'm a very confident person, but then at the same time, I also like to be humbled in a way where I do not know everything and I have to remember to ask for help. And if I don't know something, uh, phone a friend, right? And so I want all of you guys to remember that too. Maybe you've just made, uh, maybe you just had one really good month and you think you know what you're doing in network marketing or you know what you're doing in sales. You know what? (laughs) It takes a long, long time to become an expert. And even when you become an expert, there's probably someone that's smarter than you. So remember that and be humble and remember to ask for help, be generous, and always be the one giving out help instead of just taking, 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 okay? I believe that the way to become truly, truly, truly useful is to seek out from others what they have to teach. And give them credit when they have helped you. That is so amazing. I see so many people, because actually people will message me stuff, that people will repost stuff that I say or stuff that I like post on my on my Instagram and they don't give me credit. And you know what? That does bother me because I know it actually bothers me and makes me feel, feel sad for them because I'm like, gosh, like they're only stalling their own success when they do that. Like it doesn't even hurt my ego because I'm like enough people see what I what I need to say, you know, but for them, like they're trying to be somebody that they're not and giving credit where credit is due. You should always be in the game of that because you're going to want that to come back around to you, first of all. And when you give credit to somebody that also makes you go on their radar and they actually want to help you more when you give them credit for something that they've done in your life. So remember that, remember that people. So we're talking a lot about character, right? And we're talking about this positive energy. We're talking about networking. And I just know that all of you guys have got to step into being students of life. You, you, you're confident, you're learning, but you're never, you've never made it. You're constantly growing. So when you're in a sales conversation with somebody, when you're enrolling them and getting started with you, always remember that you're a student first. You're not the expert in that thing. You're the student of that person that you're selling to. You want to get ahead in this world? Pay attention to what's going on around you. Take freaking notes. Be a good listener, okay? And that's what's gonna get you to go far. Remember this, without the right sales skills, something terrible happens. Absolutely nothing. So in the Millionaire S Society, we're going to be really covering a ton about sales, doing a lot of role play challenges and a lot of goodies in there. And I cannot wait to see you transform and become a millionaire S eventually. It all starts with your mindset. So remember to head over to mommymillionaire.co and sign up today. It's only $37. You guys, that's less than a Hulu subscription. Are you kidding me? This is, this is an absolute no brainer. If you don't have $37 right now, like for real, you need to be putting that stuff on your credit card because that is a problemo that we would like to fix, okay? And I want to help you. I want you to have a life of more. I know what it's like to have a life of less and to not be able to afford those things, to live out of envelopes filled with cash. Hated that. I want you to experience the luxuries of life, saying yes to everything that you want to say yes to. And never, ever saying the words out of your mouth, no, I can't afford it again, ever. Those are, those are out of your vocabulary. Once you join the Millionaire S Society, you're going to be on your way to becoming one. 
I love you guys so much. If you loved this episode, if you learned anything from it, take a screenshot, share it out there on the social media. And remember that I give out a pair of Lorna Jane pants every single week to somebody that leaves a review. So remember to do that if you haven't yet. I can totally, totally appreciate when you do that. And love you guys. Thank you for listening to the Mommy Millionaire Podcast. For free resources and materials, head over to mommymillionaire.co. Make sure to follow Mommy Millionaire on Spotify and subscribe on iTunes. And it would mean the world to me if you left a five-star review of the show. And as always, ladies, go out there and get what you want.